As Salman Rushdie remains in critical condition in an eerie Pennsylvania hospital, an update from family. His son, Zafar Rushdie, tweeting this morning that doctors took the 75-year-old author off a ventilator and additional oxygen, and he was able to say a few words. Please, ambulance. The author was hospitalized Friday after being stabbed repeatedly during a public appearance. Rushdie was set to deliver a lecture on artistic freedom at Chautauqua Institution in New York State when police say a 24-year-old man rushed the stage and attacked him. Without thinking, I just bolted for the stage. John Moore was in the audience and says he and others came to Rushdie's aid. Blood was everywhere and uh, I had a handkerchief. So I reached in my pocket and applied my handkerchief to stop the bleeding, which was right above his right eye. Suspect Hadi Matar pleaded not guilty to charges of attempted murder and assault in court Saturday. Matar was born in the United States to Lebanese parents. Police say the motive is unclear. Rushdie has lived with a bounty on his head since 1989. Iran's Grand Ayatollah Rahola Khomeini issued a fatwa, or edict, calling for the Indian-born writer's death, following the publication of his 1988 novel, The Satanic Verses. Some Muslims regarded parts of the book as blasphemous. Yesterday, Canadian ambassador to the UN Bob Ray tweeted this picture of him and Rushdie in Ontario nearly 30 years ago. Then premier of the province, Ray was the first political leader in the world to publicly greet Rushdie after the fatwa was issued. The expression of, of opinion should not lead to, to violence and should not lead to conflict of this kind. And we have to realize that we're living in a world where Unfortunately, this is happening even more than perhaps we ever expected 30 years ago. Iran's government has distanced itself from Khomeini's decree in years past, but some hardline newspapers in the country praised Friday's attack on Rushdie. Matamour, CBC News, Montreal.